Hello everyone, this is Mr. L. I'm going to be playing for you uh, the second violin part for Night Shift for the Santa Ana Unified School District Honor Orchestra. This is for the intermediate schools. Uh, first, I'll play straight through it, and then afterward, I'll give you some tips and pointers on how to work on this piece and things to watch out for. Okay, this is Night Shift by Richard Meyer, second violin part. Hi everybody, this is Mr. Lizarraga. I will be playing the second violin part for Night Shift by Richard Meyer. This is for the Santa Ana Unified School District Honor Orchestra for the Intermediate School. First, I will be playing the whole piece straight through. And then afterward, I'll be going over it uh, bit by bit, giving you tips and pointers on how to work on it and things to look out for. Okay, this is Night Shift by Richard Meyer, second violin part.
that's it. Some things to watch out for, and then your very first measure, you have a C sharp on your, on your G string. You have to make sure you have that nice augmented finger pattern. You have, you're gonna have your second finger on the, on the G string, just normal, and then your third finger, that C sharp, you have to stretch it. Okay, you're gonna have your B, and then your C sharp, and be a whole step there, okay? B, 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 C sharp. Then when you get to D, just open D. Just don't worry about it. Then when you get to measure four, that's gonna be a B flat. Remember, your B natural is on the tape. B flat is gonna be behind the tape, way back here. Okay, so when you get to measure three, to measure four, B flat. Okay, and measure three, I don't know if you saw what I was doing there, but your first finger is gonna be on the on the D string, your E, first finger. E then goes, when you get to B, you just roll it over, or if you want, you can push both strings down with your first finger, so you don't have to. I don't want to see the... <laughs> we don't want that, okay? Uh, um, I just roll your finger, roll your finger over, or just put both of them down. Rest, 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 measure six, okay? So either roll it over or push both strings down at once before or at three. Uh, measure six, uh, careful not to rush here. In rests, in orchestra, everybody tends to rush. It's normal, it happens. But um, uh, be sure not to rush because someone else has a melody there. And you don't want to push them because their part's already hard enough without um, the violins pushing it. Okay, so measure six. Make sure, you use, make sure to use your fourth finger. Rest, 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 and then your low two on the A string. Even it says L2 for low two, it has an arrow pointing down for that C natural. That measure eight, rest, C natural, rest, rest. Now it's gonna be F sharp, high two. Even it says H2 for high two. Fourth finger, rest, 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 fourth finger. Three, measure 13. 14. C natural. B flat. Okay, 17. C flat. Then it goes up to F sharp. When you go from B flat to the F sharp, you're almost going to have to want to stretch for that. Okay, because what's going to happen, or what tends to happen, then all of a sudden you go to the, your F sharp, and then you play like in something in between an F sharp and an F natural. So careful uh, with that. Measure 17 to 18. I don't know if you noticed, um, but for my eighth notes, I'm not going. I'm not doing smooth legato. Um, I'm giving them little, uh, almost like accents. I don't want to say accents, but some separation in between the notes. Instead of I'm doing that with my index finger. I'm giving the giving the bow a little bit of energy in between each note. I uh, wouldn't worry too much about it. I'm um, trying if you like. And 22, sim similar to the beginning. Um, again, watch out for your C sharps. 24, straightforward. 26, uh, your regular C sharp. 28, you're down to your C natural. 28 C natural. 29, fourth finger. And you go, sorry. And you go straight to your E string. Okay, so careful with that. And then uh, measure 30, you have six eighth notes in there. to push those 16th notes, I don't want to hear. Okay, you don't want to make them faster than they need to be, right? And after those rests, at the second half, measure 30, one and a two, rest, and four and one and a two, rest, and four and one. Um, careful not to clip those rests too short. Don't come in too early, because that's what tends to happen with that particular passage. So. 
Rest. And 34, same thing as, or similar as measure 38, just different notes. When you get to 38, you're going to see two little bars over your notes. Um, you call them, I call them tremolos, um, or some people call them noodles. Um, but when you see two of them, that means you divide the note that they're over, you divide it twice. So if you divide a quarter note once, you get eighth notes. But if you divide it twice, you get eighth notes, sixteenth notes. Okay, so when you, at 38, those quarter notes are going to play them like sixteenth notes because you divide it twice with the two, two dashes on top. So, so there's going to be four notes. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Watch the accents on measure 40. Okay, and there's a crescendo at 39. You just get louder. Make sure 38 starts the piano so that you can make that crescendo. Rest, rest pizzicato. Make sure you stay pizzicato at 42. Rest, rest. C sharp. Rest C natural. Rest. B flat, rest, rest, C sharp, rest, B flat. Then I measure 50, uh, there's divisi. Okay, so the inside player plays the top line, sorry, outside player plays the top line, inside player plays the bottom line. Okay, so if you're a first chair, you can play the top line. If you're a second chair, you're gonna play the bottom line. Um, so the top line. <laughs> That's similar, if not the same. Yeah, that's the same as measure 14. Okay, but the bottom line is different. Okay, uh, don't play, don't try to play both of them at the same time. You could, but um, I, w I would advise, I would advise against it. So measure 50, the bottom line. The, so the inside players play the bottom line. Six, um, careful not to watch those rests. Rest. B flat. Sorry. It's a little weird. At 57. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, careful with that B flat. You're going to slide it back. Rest. Um, watch the rest again. Don't rush them. Okay, you have different rhythm than everyone else, so don't rush them. At 59, the, is you start with a rest. Okay, it goes backwards. 58, rest, 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 B flat, rest, piano, pizzicatos. So careful there. I don't want, you don't want that, so I just piano. Everybody has those together. This would be a nice little effect. Okay, that was nice here, the second violin part um, by Richard Meyer. Hope it helps. Feel free to contact Mr. K or myself for any questions or, or help. Good luck. <laughs>